Here are the 10 things you didn't know about Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and 3DS. Amiibo! When planting a tree as villagers and cutting it down, there's a small chance that an apple or another fruit will pop out. It'll restore 4 health, and it's in replacement for the woodchucks. Rob can complete a suicide kill by grabbing and upthrowing on a moving platform, if they're off the stage. Greninja's down taunt is fun, and it's even funner when you realize it can kill at very high percents. Little Max recovery is garbage, but it's possible to enhance his recovery in very dire situations via the KO punch, which sends him forward in the air just a little bit, giving you that extra momentum to get back to the platform. Hoo-ha jokes aside, one of Diddy Kong's most viable spacing tools, the peanut pop gun, packs an extra punch at super close range. Despite making the characters 2D on the duck hunt stage, the duck score at the bottom has a little 3D detail. When you turn the camera to the left or to the right, you should notice that the little ducks actually have little tiny 3D wings. Ah, uh, this is probably the worst one. Upon entering the Nintendo eShop and visiting the Smash Bros. DLC page, it's possible to find an application for the Nintendo 3DS in which you can use the 3DS as a controller for the Wii U version without purchasing a 3DS copy of the game. Perhaps you lost your copy or are lending it out to a friend. Maybe this is for you. In the evolution of Super Smash Bros. between Melee and Brawl, we saw a loss in the playable character Pichu. Or did we? It's speculated that the Pikachu we see in Brawl in Super Smash Bros. 4 is the same Pikachu from Melee, as it comes equipped with the same blue goggles as one of its alternate costumes. Perhaps the Pikachu we see here using Bolt Tackle is the same Pichu from Melee. It's possible that the Pichu evolved and carried the move Bolt Tackle over with him to the new Smash Bros. game to use as a final smash. This only makes sense because Pikachu can only learn the move Bolt Tackle from being a Pichu at one point. On the recently added Dreamland 64 stage, it's possible to see King DDD chilling out flying by in the background. However, it's impossible to see King DDD floating in the background if you're playing as King DDD. It only makes sense, and this is a really cool design idea. When setting up one of the Mii Fighter amiibos, you may have noticed that they only get converted to the default size. This is to keep the combo simple so the AI doesn't get messed up. In other words, your Mii Amiibo can't be humongous or tiny. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video entertaining or interesting, go ahead and drop a like. And if you want to come back for more content like this every week, hit that subscribe button. And go check out whatever video I decided to leave here.